So we are at Heathrow Airport Terminal 3 and today only one of us is actually going anywhere. And it ain't me. <laughs> um, Seat Spy have run a really brilliant website that lets you check for award availability with BA and Virgin and they very kindly found some reward space today for Rach to head off to the States and have a look around and yeah, leaving me behind. Lovely. To look after the kids for a change. To look after the kids for a change. So I've set some things for her to do over there, which she doesn't know about yet, Wait, but what? we'll find out. <laughs> so we're at Heathrow at the minute, and Rachel's about to take a flight over to, where are you going, Seattle? Yeah. With Virgin Atlantic. I hope so, anyway. First stop today was to take Rachel to the assistance desk and hand her over. So Rachel is repacking all of her liquids for interrogation. Don't. <laughs> right, once she's off. Bye. Have a good trip. I'll try. Enjoy and I'll see you in a couple of days when you get back. Right, I'll see you later. Sweetheart, have a good trip. Bye bye. Well, that's it, she's gone. I'm on my own. As Noel got in the car and headed home, I was whisked onto the plane for my flight to Seattle. Meanwhile, Avgeek Noel was tracking my flight as he stopped off for his daily intake of fast food. So I've stopped off for fuel on the way home and Rach has just taken off on the flight. And I'm at near Milton Keynes and she's about to fly right over the top, I think. So let's see if we can see her and video her going over the top. <laughs> it's pretty cool. There she is. Yes, yay. Hi, Rach. On board the flight, enjoying the comfy ride in premium economy, I was being served my own lunch. Although, this didn't go to plan. I was hoping for the stir-fried pork, but they'd run out. And I was left with either chicken curry or vegan cottage pie. Ugh. After a flight of around nine hours, we started our descent into Seattle. Everyone, I wanted to welcome you to Seattle. A lot of places have been closed down, so I'm gonna go and try and explore and see what Seattle is like with everything closed. I've just found out this morning that the Space Needle is closed. I'm hopeful of getting down to Pie Place Market and going to have a look there. So, uh, it is oh, half past three on a Friday and there is literally nobody around. Um, the weather's pretty shocking. As you can see, I've got a hood up. I don't ever wear a hood up. So yeah, um, it's, it's not going great. <laughs> Maybe I should give Noel a ring and see what he wants to do. Hello. Hi. You all right? I've seen you post, you don't look very happy. Coffin's <laughs> just nowhere open. Yeah. The weather's rubbish. Hmm. Yeah. Couldn't even go up the Space Needle today like I wanted to. We went round Pike Market and as you saw, there was nobody there. It's deserted, I don't know what's going on. <sighs> so shall we see about getting you somewhere else then? Why, where else are you standing, mate? 
what I might do. I say, you know what, I'm going to be really mean. And I'm going to put it to the viewers on Instagram. And oh, get them to decide. This is payback for Cebu Pacific, darling. Payback for Cebu Pacific. And we will try and find you somewhere that's not raining and not short. Does that sound good? Criteria there. Let's hope we can find somewhere in the States that is. And also, of course, because I'm a tight northern, there's somewhere that's relatively cheap. The book in the day before she flies. Um, so let's have a look. Flight price. Let's have a look. Seattle. Leaving tomorrow. Coming back Sunday. Uh, oh, let's not the flight price right down. I'm not paying that much. I'm a tight northerner. Let's say 200 quid return. Oh, Vegas. Phoenix, Denver, Tucson. Okay. Where are those places? Uh, let's have a look. Vegas. Phoenix, Tucson. Denver's obviously up here. I think the weather's going to be nicer in Arizona or potentially in Vegas. And there's more to do in Vegas than there is elsewhere. But let's put this to a poll. I'm going to pick two places from here. Let's say Vegas. And let's say Tucson. I think Phoenix is a big city. Uh, let's give it two extremes. A big flashy city in Vegas or Tucson. So I'm going to pop it on an Insta poll and you guys get to choose where Rach heads to next. <laughs> As I mentioned at the beginning, a big thanks to SeatSpy for arranging this trip for Rach. SeatSpy is one of those websites I find myself using all the time. It makes it super easy to find availability on a range of airlines. At the moment they work with BA, Virgin, KLM and Air France, with more airlines on the way soon. You simply search for your flight on the website and it brings you up a handy calendar to find reward availability. It's so much easier than spending hours trawling the airline websites for availability. You just tell seats by where you want to go and it shows you a simple calendar showing you not only how many seats are available, but also crucially how many miles they'll cost and what the taxis are. They also have this handy feature that shows you what availability the airlines have for award seats on any given day, so you can pick and choose your flights based on where you can use your miles. The premium tiers are really reasonably priced too and let you schedule availability alerts that can be sent direct to your phone via text message with WhatsApp coming soon too. Seatspire are offering their premium tiers for just $1.99 a month for premium or $2.99 for first class until the end of May. Click on the link in the description to sign up for Seatspire, it really does make finding reward space easy. Meanwhile back to the poll of where we will send Rach and you guys voted in your thousands and within a few hours we had our result. Right, so you guys have spoken and undeniably there is a massive lead for me to send Rach to Las Vegas. Woohoo! So that relaxing, quiet spa break that Rach was going to get in Tucson, Arizona is now a party break in Las Vegas for one. <laughs> Sorry Rach, but payback time for Semi Pacific. Um, so let's have a look. Alaska Airlines, pretty cheap, £140 round trip to Vegas from Seattle. So I'm just going to get this booked and then find a hotel for her and then let her know that she's off to Seattle. Um, no, she's not off to Seattle. And then let her know that she's off to Vegas, baby. Well, the people have spoken. Uh oh. And you're going to Vegas, baby. Yeah! <laughs> God. So um, you'll be able to um, head off to Las Vegas. Susie's Yay! here. Hey, Susie. <laughs> Who's that, Susie? Is that mummy? Susie. Yep, yeah, she's like, why are you in the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Daft dog. So, yeah, you're off to Vegas. Okay. I haven't sorted you a hotel out, by the way, yet. So, as yet, you might be sleeping in the airport, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, no, I'm first class rage, <laughs> not North Phillips. Early the following morning, I grabbed an Uber to the airport and waited for my ride down to Vegas. Noel had booked me on a non-stop flight with Alaska Airlines. I spotted this really pretty plane out of the window. Look how cute it is. Trust you to only be interested in a plane because it's pink rage.
flight down to Vegas and I saw some stunning scenery as we came into land at Las Vegas airport. I was a little nervous, but it was time to call Noel and find out where I'd be staying. How's it going? Alright, where am I going? Don't know, where are you? You in Vegas? I'm in, yeah. Sweet. How was the flight, alright? Yeah, it wasn't too bad, it was just a bit bumpy. Yeah, oh, that's alright, it makes it all the more fun though. So, you want to know where you're staying, don't you? So I have booked for you the most perfect, amazing youth hostel in the whole of Las Vegas for you. Do that and you divorce. <laughs> um, so you're actually staying at a little hotel, it's a little bed and breakfast place, and they've got like a pond in front of it, it's called the Bellagio. And as far as I can work out, it's like some little B&B &B thing. Are you serious? Yeah. Why would I not be serious? Oh my God. Why would I not be serious? The Bellagio, that's like ridiculous. Well, I don't know, it didn't look too bad. I mean, it got it got a good rating on um, booking.com anyway, so. I'm sure it did. Well, thank you very much, and I'll bring you when I get to the No worries, stay safe, and I'll speak to you when you get there. Right, bye. bye. I grabbed an Uber to Noel's pretty little B&B &B he'd booked. So. I arrived in Vegas to find that I'd been put in the Bellagio, an incredibly beautiful, gorgeous hotel, and I have the most amazing view. This is the view from my window, and I think you'll agree it's pretty spectacular. The fountains at the Bellagio were amazing and being able to stand and watch from the front of the hotel was spectacular. As Rach went to sleep, some breaking news happened. The many breaking developments in the worldwide coronavirus emergency. President Trump extending the travel ban with Europe, now including the UK and Ireland. The World Health Rach was soon inundated with panic messages through social media. Rach picked up these messages with no context whatsoever and was soon panicking about what was going on and whether she'd ever be able to return to the UK. So I'm sat in the airport at Vegas waiting to go back to Seattle. Uh, the flight is coming. I'm definitely getting home. So that's good. The airport in Vegas was pretty quiet for a Sunday morning, but the plane was rammed full. I was glad to be starting my journey home. on the flight up to Seattle was spectacular. Usually I don't get the window seat so this was all a novelty for me.
Once I'd landed in Seattle, I called Noel to tell him I'd landed and was given a pleasant surprise. Hello. You all right? How's it going? Hi. Where are you? I'm at the gate. What, in Seattle? Yeah. Why are you at the gate? Because that's where the place is going to go from. But you've got business class. No, I am. Yes, you are. Gate. Check the boarding pass on your phone. Well, look at it when you come off here. You're in, you're in upper class, upper class. Am I? Am I? You are, yeah. <laughs> because no, un you've, got you've got a flat bed and everything. And because unlike some people, I don't make my other half fly on Cebu Pacific economy class for flipping 11 hours. So you... <laughs> So you have got so Virgin Atlantic upper class. So if you have a look at your boarding pass, okay. there's a lounge somewhere there. There'll be a Delta place or somewhere that you can go. Okay. So, All right, thank you. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Well, at the moment, there's three people in uh, upper class on your flight. So... Oh. I'll see if I can get there then. Yeah. You'll be fine. Thank you. You are more than welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm sat here in the Delta Lounge. I'm literally the only person in here. Um, no, so I'm up here because he has upgraded my ticket to fly home. I'm now in upper class. So I get a life flat bed. Yes. Um, it's going to be amazing so I can get some sleep on the flight, which is desperately needed. So thank you, Noel. The lounge was deserted, but it was a great place to sit for a couple of hours before my flight. The staff were brilliant and kept my wine glass topped up. Soon I boarded the plane to take me home and we took off into a beautiful sunset. class was really really nice. I had seared duck which tasted exquisite. So the uh, cabin lights have been dimmed and most people are asleep and there's quite a few different lots of snoring going on so um, I've had my evening meal and some wine so I'm going to try and get some rest and I'm sure I'll speak to you again very soon. After a reasonable night's sleep on the flatbed, I woke up to a lovely bacon butty with orange juice and a much needed coffee. I got some good views as we descended across England into Heathrow. I just want to say a big thanks to my patrons for your ongoing support. Patrons not only get early access to all of my videos, but also a range of other perks, including my exclusive WhatsApp group, weekly live chats where we all just sit and have a chat with a drink and a ton of other perks including some fantastic merch. You can join them at the link on your screen now. Don't get me wrong, 
the upper class cabin is nice but the lifelock bed was okay but there's just no storage anywhere lose your stuff everywhere because there's nowhere to put it yeah, i think i had the same when i flew in the window is in a really awkward place until on the virgin yeah and as you saw months. from the the footage when the camera flopped down and i couldn't do anything about it <laughs> but um yeah, so did you enjoy your trip to the States and did you enjoy your mystery tour in Vegas even though everybody started panicking you and before you came home? I did, I loved it and it's proved to uh, to you, to me, to everyone that I can actually do it. Definitely. Um, so as a disabled single female traveller, it is possible to do. Definitely, well that's awesome because you can start doing some more stuff for me now. Woohoo! <laughs> um, let us know down in the comments guys what you thought of this video and what you thought of Rachel's maiden effort in the comments below and in the meantime as always thank you so much for watching take care and we'll see you next time and my videos better